Okay, so I was sitting here working on a little thing. Uh, I have a little idea in my head that I thought would be interesting and be cool. Um, and I got an email. I sent it to Peter Richards. Uh, I'll show you the video real quick. So this is what I sent him. Have you ever wanted to put some color on a drawing? Maybe you scanned it in or maybe drew it on the iPad. But let's turn this simple drawing into this colored sketch. And then he writes this email, Joe, very clever and impressive. Do you disclose how you get the image on the screen? I'll just show you what I did. But first, you know, the question is, how did I get this image on the screen? And I'll just show you what I shot. I put a green screen behind a projector screen, filmed it, cropped it. Then you add a key or drop out the green and you add a little shape mask to it. And just to clean up the edges a little bit. And there you go. You take this element and you put it on top of this layer. And this layer is just a, another video shot without the screen. So now you can see it with the screen on it. And here's a video file. This was a video file came out of the iPad app called Procreate. It generates animations automatically as you draw it. And so here's this video. All the way to the color. And this guy needs to be on top of the projector screen. So you take this, and you're going to put it down on this layer stack. And it's too big. And this element, right? So this guy needs to sit right here on the screen. So we need to do a little distort and we need to fuzz the edges. So we're going to add the distort modifier. I'm going to adjust our corners a little bit. Once we get it in the position that we want it, we need a little bit extra here on the bottom. Soften, just soften the edges a little bit to make it feel a little bit more old school. Do a quick search for shape. Take your shape, drop it on there. And we're going to adjust the sizing here of the scale, the X position. And then we're going to adjust the Y position a little bit. And then we're going to soften the curves just a little bit, the curvature. And there we go. That's the final effect. And that's really all there is to it. Peter, thank you for your email. Hopefully this little tutorial answers your question and you got some use out of it. Thank you so much.